Well, good evening, everybody. We're here on April 26th. It's a lovely Wednesday evening here in North America. My name is the Muff Bandit. We're on the map of Sumari. This is none other than Squad Ops, One Life Event. And we're running Operation Foxheart. We're going to let the players trickle in still. We don't have them all in yet. I'm going to be following the U.S. for the first round. Actually, I'm going to follow the U.S. for both rounds because I'm the only caster today. So we'll get a look at how the U.S. perform or runs their strategy both times. Let's go over some of the simple stuff for Foxheart. Basically, the U.S. will start here at main. They will get one open top Humvee. Whichever one they choose. The insurgents will start at Palace. Now, Palace is Golf 6, Keypad 8, right in that area. I'm going to take you guys over there. It's a very well known area. It's a long ways over here. We'll get to them. You can see the insurgents are already there. Good morning, Keys. How are, how are you? You're on the other side of the planet. I don't know if it's Wednesday or Thursday over there. I'm not sure, but good morning to you. As you can see, the insurgents are doing their briefing. Right here's Palace. They're tasked with protecting this lovely tree-laden compound. And they don't have to stay in it. They can spread out. They can do it however they want. There's only a few rules. U.S. starts at Maine. Surges start at Palace. They, there is no building until alive so that you you didn't see the insurgents have anything placed down they'll start building once they go live they will have a logi truck and they will dump it because they'll be able to build two dishkas as well as sandbags and other fortifications that they see fit actually that hammering hutch sees fit he is the command for the insurgents he's gonna have a few squad leaders shadowed ritual od tap and silas Looks like Xbit's ready. If there's any extra players trickling in, but I don't know. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. As for the U.S. commander is Doctor Kamikaze. He's got Jaffe, Best Pony, and Big Yes squad leading for him. I can hear a little briefing going on. Squad squad leader briefing. Uh, my hearing's a little off. I got a ruptured eardrum, so I'm kind of deaf in one ear right now but i will relay as much information as i can that i hear in the meantime let's go over our cameras so we got a lot of cameras tonight not really about six or seven which is good it's always good these cameramen make this possible make this great view for you guys possible and bring the whole operation together from every angle we can possibly muster so we are going to go over a few. Uh, we got Jay Rebic, <clears throat> a crazy Russian, X-Bit, Shadowed Ritual, Best Pony, and Big Yes. If we get any more, if we get any additional cameras, I will let you know. Uh, Keys, I, I ruptured an eardrum, man. I got, I don't know. I got a cold a few days, like, a, I don't know, almost a week ago. Got a cold. Next thing you know, I'm laying in bed. My ear hurts like a son of a gun. And then it did a lot of popping. I went to the doctor. There's a hole in my eardrum. So that's a healing process. It's I can't really play effectively. I, I hear everything in monotone in my right ear instead of my left. So, But I can still cast. Figured out a way to cast. Got everything set up. So I'll at least commentate for you guys. Let you know what's going on. <clears throat> Hopefully I don't break out into any coughing fits or anything. I'm, I'm pretty much over the cold now, so that's good. They're still doing some briefing. 10.40. We'll probably be live in about five minutes. Don't quote me on that, but you never know. Oh, we're still getting a few more trickling in here. Yeah, we should we should finish 
get up to about 30 on 30 when it's all said and done. So they're still trickling in. Again, this is going to be Operation Foxheart. The U.S.'s objective is to assault and secure the palace, which is where the insurgents will be defending. We've ran this operation quite a bit also. So there's there's a lot of different strategies. Well, let's go over some of the finer rules, like the bridges. These bridges are key points of crossing. Because there are mobility restrictions. Every vehicle and every infantry unit must utilize a bridge to get across this center canal river of death. So they, there's four bridges. And you can just see them as I'm blasting along this way. Slow it down. There we go. There's, they can use this footbridge too. The vehicles have to use the bigger bridges. The vehicle, the one Humvee that they get. So they can even make it all the way over to this eastern bridge in India 6. But that's the big one for the U.S., get across the bridges. It's almost like a two-phase operation for the U.S. They have to get across the bridges and then secure palace. And it really depends on what the insurgents want to do. The insurgents can sit in palace and let them cross the bridge all they want, or they can actively push out and try to prevent them from crossing the bridges. Now, we've seen that work awesome for the insurgents, and we've seen it completely backfire, where the U.S. get across, they wipe an insurgent squad, and then the insurgents are outnumbered trying to defend. All right, it sounds like we're waiting for just a few more guys to get in here. Yeah, we're up to 27 on 28, so. We'll get going before long. Oh, I gotta join the squad. I gotta. Here we go. Finally. Um, welcome everybody to Fox Heart. Damn. Um, tonight our mission is gonna be to remove the insurgent presence from the palace. They've taken over. Uh, they've kicked all the local population out. They're pissing. Hi there, Crossfire X. Everybody. So, here's how we're gonna do it. Jaffe squad. It looks like you're hosting us. Thank you very much. Towards the southern bridge. Uh, hey, stand in the middle. Turkey. People can't hear you at the end. Right now, Dr. Kamikaze, the commander for the U.S. So, uh, soldiers, is okay. briefing his troops. Squad look at them. They're all lined up all pretty. The bridge and yeah, let's the, just uh, let's get rid of all that real quick here. Um, the squad 2, best pony, is going to be there we go. and heading up towards police station, where he's going to be setting up on the western edge there of the bridge. Uh, in preparing look at all those safety shovels. And set up a uh, perimeter on the east for us. Squad Ops right has kind of instituted the safety shovel uh, three is gonna be sitting uh, rule the regulation uh, almost. This prevents people from accidentally misfiring. Every now and then uh, they will be people will misfire and actually hit somebody. Bridge, so this is just a, uh, a precautionary the tactic. The, bridge. Um, the goal of the northern group is to secure a route for the southern group to get across. Uh, if they fail to do that um, then we'll have to improvise and find another way around. Other than that once we get through uh, we will be following this general route uh, around Palace uh, in a trying to encircle. Oh, Keys, I'll follow you, man. I'll follow everybody. Palace hitting it from three directions. Everybody that hosts us, I'll follow. Does anybody have any questions? Um, it's pretty simple, not too complex. We're kind of ignoring the area north of Ancient Quinot. They could have guys up there. Um, we will need to be wary. Oh, gosh, they've got marks all over the map. For strategic purposes. Now, I couldn't hear a whole lot. As I said, my hearing's not the best right now. But it, I heard ancient Quanet. So there's a good chance they're going to try to push up to that Hotel 5 bridge. Or perhaps this footbridge in Golf 5. I've seen them placed in Palace itself on the roofs so that they can get better angles of fire. So they'll, they'll probably put it... That's right, Hyper. I'll follow everybody. I'll follow you. On the southern edge. I think I'm already following Hyper. Down there somewhere. They occasionally put one on. on All right, we even get a couple more trickling um, in. It really depends, so uh, well, we will need to be looking out for that, especially for the Humvee. All right, um, that will be our. our and we've actually got a couple more cameras that came in. Uh, Truth Realm and CeeLo running cameras for us, so that brings us up to two, four, six, eight, ten, nine or ten. I think nine cameras. 
That's good. They're pretty well spread out on teams, too. we got Shadowed Ritual on the Insurgents. Let's see. There's another one. Alright, what's the ballsiest tactic that we can Expit on the Insurgents. I'm no sure need. there was more. Oh, Celo no. on Insurgents. So that's three. That's pretty oh. good. I'm sorry. Over here naked. That might be it. Oh, J Remick. So four on Insurgents. Cool. I'm gonna scream a little Ogbar as I run towards him. Truth Realm. Shadow Ritual. No, oh, Shadow Ritual's in. in Not either way. we got about four and four on, on each team. So that's perfect. You guys will get a lot of good angles. Really. Um, generally, I they try to pull the hump. Yeah, I'll go. I'll sit here. We can turn it up. Can. Listen to some briefing. If you can bail, you can. But a lot of times you go down with the Humvee. So, um, but it doesn't. But you know, a lot of times you keep the Humvee. But uh, that'll be up to best pony's discretion and the driver, really. Any other questions, guys? So we can uh, get a live time going. Cool. Uh, let's start breaking it out, guys, and uh, get ready for a fun out. Well, I did a good job of missing pretty much all of it. Sorry about that, all caps. Yeah, so, uh, just, just wait a moment, guys. I'll give us a, a live time. I'll get, of, I'll get uh, in, and we'll be able to hear Hutch brief his guys during Sorry, round two, just so you guys can get a, a good listen on that. It's really cool listening to the command, give out the orders, say, you know, squad one's going to go here, squad two's going to go here, squad three's going to go here. Uh, if this, then that, and stuff like that. And it's like they're going to go live at 1.30. That's three minutes. I'd love to, GL. Jack, would. Find me too, or you? It's a idea. long time. Right, we're doing it right now. All right, That's alright. We'll this. wait it out. Do I have a volunteer for medic? Yeah, I'll take it. As always, this is a one life event. There are no respawns. I'll try and, uh, Once you're down, you're down. The medics cannot revive you. They can heal you if you get shot and you bandage yourself. They can totally heal you back to 100%. That's what they're there for. But it's up to your yourself to stay alive and, and keep your head down. You can see the squads are kind of breaking out into their own little groups, uh, doing a little last-second briefing. Know, live time is one thirty. One zero. It's two minutes. And then during second round, it appears that I Jaffe's guys die. are going to be on foot. I was one of the first dead on the insurgent side when we hit an entire platoon. He's uh, peeing. And it's going to be a little quiet and slow at first. You'll see yeah. U.S. Yeah. stroking along. Yeah. Insurgents will spread out. But once the shots are fired, it gets intense. It's going to be going fast. You zoom in on the... Uh, Krusty's back. The insurgents are all ready. Right, back. They're Yay. all... Divided into their squads over there as well. You're looking at CeeLo right now. You know what? On your screen in the top right, it'll show you whose camera you're on and what team they're on. Uh, our, our cameraman, or our... I don't even know what to call him. Our production master, Penn. Has uh, has got this sweet setup where he can show you all these different cameras and angles and. Where's Jenga? Is Jenga just not coming up? And we've got a lot of good graphics that he's implemented. And the man who made that is Nash. So shout out to Nash for making all those graphics. It's it's a lot of work by a lot of people that brings this whole thing together. Um, there's no just one person that's responsible for anything involved with this. He needs to get over here. Uh, we've got a lot of ops guys too in here. Jaffe, Wook MT, Best Pony, Krusty the Sailor, Big Yes, Crazy Russian, Jack Boot, Truth Rail, Little Jin, Dr. Kamikaze. That's on one team. It's the other team. Shadow Ritual, Part Time Ninja, Buckshot, J Remick, So Many, OD Tap, Pulker, Mori Eats Kids, Silas, It's Crispy Silo, and Jenga Masker. We've got Hutch and x well. One Top Man, One Tap Man. So there's always a lot of a lot of ops guys around. We are live. The good luck and good hunting from Hutch himself. And Hutch is the command of the insurgents. I've right, got Best Pony escorting the Humvee to the north. See 
basically the rest of the US team heading to the south side. Now this is a common tactic. I'm not sure what exactly they're going to do. They're still they actually maybe staying kind of close together. Hell is correct. But correct. if they allocate all resources to one bridge and it goes sour there, yeah, it's we'll really the rough to come back from that. So a lot of these commanders know that. Almost every single commander knows that. And he's going to split up his squads. They're running along real fast. They know they don't have a lot to worry about. And you can see the insurgents are moving out, though. Jay Remix pushed out. Cool Breeze is pushed out. There's someone. Slinger way up north. And for the most part, all these guys are going to try to stick together, at least be with a battle buddy. The only reason you see those insurgents out by themselves is they have the scout kit. And every squad on insurgents' side gets one scout. So they're out doing some recon, trying to figure out where the U.S. are coming from, uh, what their, at least what their angle of attack is, which bridge they might be trying to cross, or any information that the insurgents can yeah, gather know, to, to better help them at least look the right direction. Call of Duty. Call of Duty. All right, Jay Remick is right between them. He has got a squad to the north, squad to the south. Big yes. Ten meters away now. And you can guarantee the big yes doesn't know that he's there. But Jay Remick could probably hear some footsteps. He's going to be real patient. He could be reporting to command to his squad leader. You know, I hear footsteps. They're coming through. I'm sure that they hear the vehicle as well. I can hear it. I'm half deaf right now. I just don't know where it is. I have no depth. I can't tell which direction it's coming from. Uh, repeat, how many vehicles do they get? So Jay Remick's in good position to flank when the need arises. So is Cool Breeze. Uh, we are clear at the bridge over here, south side. Being real patient. Negative Got his binox out. Doesn't insurgent. even have the gun out. Just has the binox out. Scout things out. Insurgent second floor across the bridge. And there's the Humvee, right by the this police station. Be the compound at F7 Key Three. Patiently waiting on the other side of the bridge is at least one insurgent squad. Same with this south side. We've got the, the U.S. Got a full squad. They're lining up against the walls, getting ready to peek. Okay, I now I've seen multiple insurgents moving through the multi-story building on the south side, uh, where the market is. Did you say Bravo North or Bravo South? Bravo South. Okay, so we should be on that. Oh, way. all right. So, command has spotted multiple enemies on the south side. Near this first okay. southern bridge. They're gonna be real patient. Okay, two more set up. Everybody set. It looks like uh, one of you guys good. Yeah, yeah this we're is about one to get pushing. All right, smokes okay, away from best ready. pony squad. There's the first shots. Don't know who's shooting at who. Glock 712 taking some fire okay, from the Humvee. Fulcrum as well. They've got some a good smoke Smoking cover going. Are they going to use this opportunity to cross? Just tell all your men to hold behind our cover. We don't need to close ourselves yet. Boy, they threw a lot of smoke grenades. Fulcrum goes down. Humvee got him. Let's see who's manning that gunner oh, seat. On the southern bridge, oh, and that was just down the peppering road. through the smoke, too. Um, he can't see anything. It's yep. Caboose or Emaz? I think it's Caboose on the gun. Oh, now he's shooting southeast. I'm pretty sure the goal of this Humvee right now is to strictly provide cover fire. He is suppressing the hell out of the insurgents so that the remaining U.S. forces can move. Now they need to move or those smokes are going to dissipate and they're going to be all for naught. Good patience. Good patience by the insurgents. Like, uh, 
South side, nothing, nothing so much yet. Oh, Kamikaze's down. Dr. Kamikaze's down. That's command for the U.S. He is down. Did they just did they lose another one? Best Pony is down. So we've got a command and a squad leader down for the U.S. Squad leads down. The insurgents are being real patient here. Cool Breeze and Jay Remick are still behind the U.S. Looks like Jay Remick might have actually got somebody over there. Let's see if I can. Oh, no, he has a jet. Ooh, them U.S. soldiers there. As soon as they expose themselves on this side of the bridge, they're getting hurt. Rip command. That's right, Crossfire. He is down. I think it's their. I think it's command. I think it's their command. Let me take him out. I think it's command. All right, we're getting decided here. Jay Remix he's down, he's down. takes down Big Yes. He's down That's another squad leader down for the U.S. So they've got two. No, Big Yes was not a squad leader. He was not. Are you actually? Actually, yeah, he was. He was a squad leader. He just passed it off to his fire team leader, Crazy Russian. So we've got command and two squad leaders for the U.S. down. Yeah, it's look, it's a rough one for the U.S. here. And now you can see him looking back because Jay Remix back there. Good work by the insurgents. They're just being patient, holding those bridges. In fact, it looks like Hutch spread his guys out to just do nothing but cover bridges. Him and Xbit, who's uh, probably his medic in his squad, they're both just sitting back at Palace. Oh, so somebody got Jay Remick. It might have been Ram or Havoc. Looks like it was Havoc that got him. But Cool Breeze is still on. still on this rooftop. I sent some guys to uh, run security for you. Roger that. All right, we need to figure out a way to He's cross. still got his binocs out, too. He's, he knows better. He knows what happened to Jay Remick. The, the, he doesn't uh, want the same fate. Fox 6 bridge. We've got to cover in the Fox 7 bridge. It's hard for him to um, see so anything. He's... Doesn't really have the best angle. Has anybody searched yet? They're going north to get around up there. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, yeah, as Lish said, command leading the push either goes real good or real bad. With the Humvee on these bridges. So far, it's gone. Not so good. Try and get some of this. Let's see, look here. There we go. Copy that. Two kills for the U.S. Five for the insurgents. So not a lot of, not a big difference. In kills and deaths, but the big hurt is the U.S. lost their command and two squad leaders. And as you can see, the U.S. they're not quite sure what to do. They're all looking around. They're not. They, they, right, so they've got an absence of leadership right now, which hurts, the, uh, really hurts. If, if he's alive. When when someone's given directions, yeah, giving you orders, I'm telling you where to go, you have a, a right, direction, so a path, and, go and and a goal. Right now, they're not sure. They're kind of running back. You can see Lil Jin, Jack Boot, Crazy Russian, kind of regrouping, getting back together. You know, they're afraid of this bridge. They just watched a few guys get dropped right on this bridge that is with smoke there, too. Uh, and now they're out of smoke grenades. So they're going to see some. It's going to take something really unorthodox here to bring this bone back. Ooh, I wonder if did Caboose get shot out? I don't even see Caboose. Where is he? he must have crashed. That, that'll happen sometimes. Comms are quiet. I think the enemy's gonna come from the south, southeast, and then they're gonna a whole lot the, going on. The compound the field. Three, how, how many effective are you? All right, it looks like Jaffe's taking over. Roger that. Two, I want you to to uh, to rotate northeast as rotate well. Rotate northeast as well. One's going to sit on this uh, western flank. Repeat that. Two, rotate northeast. Leave your Humvee. 
Alright, All right, Jaffe's telling some guys to go northeast. He's actually even issued orders to leave the Humvee down at this bridge. Which is good. That'll distract a couple guys. Glock shooting at him. Is he going to fire back? Is Naked Bagel going to fire back? Yes, he did. And Glock 712 is back enough, back enough. Now, Naked Bagel can, he does have a little zoom on that Humvee, but you can see the mist and the haze in the air as you get farther out there. Looks like Glock's actually taking shots too at him, and they don't see him. In the meantime, X bits over there building everything hutch places. Lots of barbed wire, a lot of razor wire surrounding that. Let me check something here really quick. They've got it just surrounding palace is what it sounds like. Now let me know which has heavier So it says to push the Humvee across the bridge to draw the insurgents back. Well, they could push across. Hopefully they would live Roger. at least at least a little bit. But that's a totally valid tactic to take that Humvee and just bust across that bridge as fast as they can go. Get into the back. Uh, get, go right through them. Let them shoot. Don't even stop. Get on the other side to where you're safely far enough east. That would totally work. That has worked before. And what that would do is draw a bunch of the insurgent soldiers back. <clears throat> Maybe not the ones that are directly at that bridge, but maybe those guys to the south. Perhaps Shadowed Ritual Squad to the south would turn and hightail it back to the east to try and intercept that Humvee. And I don't think Jaffe's ever been put in command, so he's in a rough situation himself. And you know he's, he's worried about the lives of his guys, so he doesn't want to sacrifice the Humvee, as it were. I want your Humvee to make a lot of noise on that bridge, okay? Oh, Glock's taking shots at him. He's got that A. He's got the AR. Glock does, so he's got plenty of ammo to sling at him. Jaffe just gave orders to make noise with the Humvee, so they're gonna do just that. You would think. So we got a Agalock. Has taken over his squad lead since Best Pony's down. Jaffe's leading his guys. Crazy Russian is now squad leader since Big Yes is down. There, we're starting to see a little more movement out of the U.S. They're almost up here to this northern bridge. And as you can see, there's just insurgents waiting across the water. In fact, Jenga Master is staring straight down the footbridge. Yeah, they're crossing uh, left to right. Looks like they're going to try and go across the main bridge up there, guys. Silo's looking north and he sees something. Roger. They're contact, walking right uh, by contact, me. They don't see me. Right. He's up on the roof. When three starts shooting, I need the Humvees shooting. Uh, I've informed the Humvee. I'll let them know when squad three starts shooting as well. Looks like CeeLo might have taken a shot or two. Adam? What's, he, what's his um, right. coordinate? He, he saw me. Alright, Sue, I need to uh, put him out Humvee uh, fire up. Uh, Alright, squad three starting to lay down some fire. Strictly for a distraction. Let's go see the cross, see if it can happens over here. The Humvee's pushing up. They're gonna make some noise too. We've already lost Sergeant Nato. Oh, Dishka on the south. SOG Pope Smot is lighting up that compound. There's five U.S. soldiers in that little area right there. There we go. They got some... Got a little smoke fire cover. Gosh, you can see those bullets just going around the walls right around Havoc. Yeah. 
the, the U.S. are just not, they're not willing to push. None of these guys are willing to even peek. You can see these five guys all stay, stay in cover for their life. Wook MT, he's at least looking this way, but there's a, they got a big plume of smoke in front of them. You can't see anything. Another another waste of smokes here on the south side because nobody's crossing. There, we're getting some shots fired by the U.S. Finally hearing some M4s going. North squad starting to push through. Slinger's coming in behind. He might get himself a flank. They did take out someone on the roof. Oh, they got CeeLo. We just saw Lil' Jin take out CeeLo. Slinger's got to be close. I just saw him. There he is. He's right there. Oh, I heard that SKS. Oh, he drops Crazy Rush in one shot. Pop. At least I think that was Slinger that got him. It sure was. Good effort, Crazy Russian. Oh, down he goes. Legit gamer taken out by Slinger as well. Good work, Slinger. Taking out two and moving. Shoot and scoot. In the meantime, Jack Reynolds, Gaming Brennan, Agalot, and Chocolate on the bridge. They got smokes on the bridge, but no one, they haven't, haven't utilized a single smoke. Those smokes have not helped them one bit. They're just saying, hey, we're over here on this side of the bridge, but we're not going to do anything. Which is not going to help the U.S. So now most of their most of these guys have already thrown at least one smoke. The, the insurgents have just got to be grinning ear to ear. They've held this bridge for almost 20 minutes. We're live on Truth Rim on the south side. He is the farthest south U.S. soldier now. Not a lot of room for him to move. He's got a little bitty burb. Like not get not connected any shots yet. Nice. Surgeon's being very patient. There's another U.S. body laying there, right by Husbird. He lost a companion. Two, what's your status up there? Looks like Slinger finally got dropped after he took out. I don't know how many did he get. He got two. Little Jin got him. Little Jin's doing good. He's got a couple kills. Looks like. Uh, give him pressure. Somewhere in here. He's got himself three so far. Could need to do a little more work to get through there. I'm going to die for no reason. Just run, bro. Can you guys talk in local, please? Now the U.S. have completely abandoned the southern bridge. <clears throat> Not a bad choice, considering that the Dishka is aiming straight across it. It suppressed the hell out of those guys that were down there before. So they moved up to the next bridge, which is not looking a whole lot safer. Now, if you look, you can see Poke Smots on the one Dishka. He's got the square. Actually, he's reloading right now. You can see him doing the reload Dishka animation. I make a push through this bridge. Making sure he's ready for the next one. Then... I'm using your We've got well. Goober Chipmunk. He's on the other one. Looks like he's facing north. Hard to tell exactly where he is from here. But you can bet he's looking at a bridge. Bet he's looking at that northern bridge up there by Agala. Try to get another look at the kills. See where we're at. Five for the U.S. They've died. They've lost ten guys. Yep. Five to ten. And I think there was a TK. Oh, yeah. Crazy Russian accidentally killed Jack Boot. That's, that's the last thing the U.S. needs going against them right now. Friendly fire. Well, get back over here. Looks like they're going to make another push on this bridge. You're live on CeeLo. Oh, Jaffe almost got across. They threw some more smokes. Oh, Husbird goes down as well. Surgeons are just sitting real pretty right now, wrecking everything that's coming across. They've got three more. Rams taking up the gunner seat.
Well, now it's almost too late to sacrifice the Humvee. There's no more U.S. soldiers to follow it across the bridge. Oh my god! Yeah. So that's all three main squad leaders for the U.S. have been right, eliminated. Go Excellent work by the insurgents. Surge is throwing grenades across the bridge as far as I can. At the uh, bridge in H5, we cannot cross the bridge. Down the road. Ram's taking random yeah, shots. I don't think we're gonna be able to cross down here either. All right, we'll see what we can do. Cross it here to alleviate the pressure. Ram taking shots at the at the mosque tower. Yeah, copy, yeah. You, you either have to do it really fast, or you have to do it really well. So now ball. we've got Agala, Wook, and a crazy I Russian. Survivor. See him in the map up there in H2. Oh, right, actually, a crazy Russian is down, so um, all, all of Squad 3, they're out of command units. They are running local chat or squad chat only they can receive no direction that's why they're sticking around other other squads so that they can hear orders and, and follow orders and basically work as a team that's what they have to do yeah, look at that yeah. now that surge just are throwing smokes back saying here let us smoke it for you try to cross they got to figure it out right now i want you to throw one smoke really oh the mid-course Oh, I think it's an audio glitch though. I've heard it like. If five I get times. way over here. Oh shit. We've got another bridge. Actually. This just might be what the US needs to at least cross the water. There's only a couple. Uh, including command. Hutch. Hutch is down there right in front of XBit. Excellent job by the insurgents keeping track of the U.S. forces. That's a big part of this is making sure that they can, they know where they're coming from. They don't want to get flanked or outmaneuvered. They don't have fish right here, right? Hey, Leo, you're back. Oh, I'm taking fire though. Yeah, we're taking fire. So I think they're gonna attack in there. Come see. And the U.S. are still, still focusing on this bridge. They've lost a couple more. Not yet. No, they're still at 13. So here they go. There he goes. Imaz is going. Oh gosh, look at him. Oh, Glock goes down. Someone got him with a nade. Oh, great nade. Ram goes down. They're bailing off the bridge. They made it across. The Humvee led the way. Grenades getting thrown out everywhere. I see Raz Grizz bandaging himself. Oliver bandaged. Wook goes down to Jan Michael Vincent to the south. Oh, Emos drops a guy. He's going crazy. He j oh, someone got him. Took him out. Looks like Faku took him from the roof. Oh, gosh. A nade just took out like Truth Realm and somebody else. And Havoc. We're gonna see if we can get an instant replay for you guys right here. Show you how that all went down again. In the meantime, the US are got one guy across. Here you go, instant replay. Musket, over here. Left, break left. Fuck, uh, I need to fetch yourself up, I need to fetch myself up, bro. All right, Musket and Razgriz, one north, one south. Musket's down, Razgriz crossing underneath the bridge. He's staying on the shoreline. He's a medic, so... Oh, man. He's only got, like, the entire insurgent team to kill. It's totally doable. You can see the the insurgents are getting a little more confident. They, they're moving around, looking around. But hoof da, look at that. Rip US. Five, two, four, six, seven dead US guys right here in my shot. 
to to two insurgents. So well, they definitely made some sacrifices to get across, and it didn't pan out for them. Let's see if Razgriz can come and maybe drop Kahuna. Oh, he's got the lean. Kahuna's ready for him. But Kahuna's not sure. He's looking other directions, too. Oh, yeah. 21 kills to 7 now. So, excellent defense on the insurgent side. I'm going to be honest. I kind of feel bad for the U.S. guys right now. They just got wrecked. But you know what? Maybe they'll do the same thing when they get the insurgent side. Who's up? Raz Grizz sneaking around. What's going on up here? Lil Jin on the bridge, belly down, just itching his way south. There's Hitchens. Peek in the corner. There's Goober Chipmunk sitting on his dishka. Just firing randomly north. He's got a ton of ammo yet. Oh, gosh. How does Hitchens not... Oh, Hitchens got him. Hitchens saw him. Nice try, little Jin. You get him next time, buddy. Well, we've got three U.S. soldiers that are... I don't know. Maybe they're thinking about mutinying. I'm not sure. There's Raz Grizz. We're going to follow him. He's the only one near combat. About to run into Jenga Master. Checking buildings, clearing buildings. Let's see if he can get a good angle here. Oh, I don't think Jenga saw him. But Silas will. Nope, he just snuck in. He's getting he's timing is perfect right now. Looks like Razgriz is pushing to the this other northeastern bridge, hopefully to cover for the other guys as they cross. We're down to we have no squad leaders left except for Agalot and He's on his own. Whereas Grizz doesn't have communications with him. Oh, shit. <laughs> Raz Grizz is talking to himself. He's thinking tactics. Fucking side squad's fucked. <laughs> I don't think he's got the most confidence. He hurts him. Oh, 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 oh. You, Haji, fuck. Razgris does not appreciate being shot at by Jenga Master. And he's moving around. He's relocating. Jenga didn't move at all. He's got more than one angle. Oh, Crispy's going to get him. Oh, Crispy. Oh, he didn't get him. Scared the shit out of him, though. He's shooting back. That tree's going down. He's going to chop that tree down. Shooting that rug out of the building. Oh, Jenga threw an aid. Is it going to do anything? No, not, not so much. Oh, that was... Oh, he's still alive. I heard the PPSH going off. More grenades. Boy, Razgris is just... He's probably got like... Going at 120 beats per minute on his heart right now. Mine almost is just watching him. Let's... Oh, look at that. Agalaz has got his guys coming though. All right, they're regrouping. Oh, Raskers is actually bandaging himself, so he did get hit by some sort of stray bullet. A lot of them left. The entirety of second was wiped out. I'm in. There's guys. Everybody's left. All right, these are the four remaining U.S. soldiers right here. This is it. That's it. Great. The Humvee's down. Right. Hopes and groups. Let's. There's a guy in the array. Array. I guess as far as we go, Agalock is in command. Entirety of second was wiped out. I mean, there's guys. Everybody's left. That's just the gaming. Brandon, Jack the Reynolds, and Razgris under the command of Agalot. The he does have. There's two medics, so they can take a shot and get healed up. Actually, 
I don't know what they're shooting at. Maybe they're shooting at guys in the mosque tower, not sure. Yo, yo, space and space and they're going to probably start chucking nades over here, so... Yeah, I got the store. They're reminding each other of spacing. You know what, at least they're communicating really good. The US guys are communicating real well with each other right now, in local. Reminding each other of battle spacing, talking about enemy locations. And actually, Razgris is still separated from them. Yeah, they, there's yeah. no, there's no doors or anything for him to get to those guys with, without exposing himself. I want you guys to, if you've got a pistol, right, just pull it out and start shooting someone. Okay. <laughs> All right, Razgris is like, pull your pistols out, start shooting, make some noise. <laughs> Oh man. Again, we're at 22 kills for the insurgents, 7 for the US. Heavily outnumbered. You can just see all the upwards red triangles behind these guys. These are all alive insurgents. About a mag and a half. I got about half mags. They're discussing ammo situations, how they're all not they're not ideally equipped right now. Um, Razgrid is still suppressing the Moss Tower. And then west eventually, from behind this area. I'm gonna try to make my way through these alleys to an exit. Okay. Ten four. Godspeed. It's crispy shooting at Razgris. Agalox just covering him. <laughs> Razgris made it. He got out of there. Gosh, he gets the ninja award. Like Matrix said, ninja medic. Probably our best course of action, but it felt like there were nearly two fucking dishkas aiming at us when we were trying to cross. But right now, they seem to be entirely focused over here due to all the gunfire. Especially all the return fire I've been given the guy in the fucking um, minaret. Oh, they've got a good point. They're talking about, you know, their, their focus is up here. Maybe they should move. It's it's hard, though, because Cool Breeze is up in the Minaretta Mosque. He's looking down. He's actually looking a little east of him. This may be a good opportunity for them to push back south. Perhaps farther east. We've been going for over 30 minutes now. Yeah, that's true. Unless they but think they still have quite a bit and they're just holding the position. Yeah. Do we want to push into this school here? Get eyes on, or? I don't, I don't know. School of Lot, open windows. Yeah. It's up to you. Lots, lots of insurgents being really patient okay. in the background. They're looking everywhere. You can see that. You can see insurgents crouch, standing, binocs out. They're looking every direction. They're moving all over the place. Here comes It's Crispy pushing up. Oh, they've got a few coming. Silas is going to peek really soon. We could sneak through the field. The hair goes the US. We're moving to the south again. We're what? Fighting in the sun. Oh, guys in the minaret still up. Stay down. Stay down. Guy in the minaret still up. Prone. Minaret. They're keeping a sharp eye on that mosque tower. They know he's up there. You hear him talking about it. Cool breeze poked his head back up. He's a scout roll. He's got he's got binox. He's, he's got him back out. He's looking down at him. You know he might not see him. He just looked away. Well, they could they could sneak by. 
I can hear their Humvee running, so the Humvee is still available. Not that it's going to do them a lot of good. Agalop just lights up the, the mosque tower again. Cool breeze, still peeking. He knows where they're shooting from. He could hear the gunfire. Who we got shooting here? Watch this, watch this, watch this. Nate out, watch it. It's just still so many insurgents being so patient. Here we come from the straight east of Amy Brennan. He's shooting up at the Moss Tower still. And they actually hit Cool Breeze. He's bandaging. Gaming Brennan covering their rear. This grenades being thrown. Another little distraction might be working. Very good teamwork by these four guys. They know that they're severely outnumbered and the odds are stacked against them, but they're still trying their best. And if they hold their fire, they should be fairly unseen, you would think. Surgeons looking everywhere, though. It's going to be tough. Oh, there they go. Giving away a position a little bit again. That was Agalock. I believe he's their only AR. That was a saw you heard shooting. Oh, no. Gamey Brennan's got one, too. So we've got two saws and two medics. Yeah, there's some holding in there. So theoretically, they got a lot of firepower. At least they can sling some lead. You know, there could be soldiers in this cornfield here. Raz, watch our, watch our back, Raz. Raz, watch our six. Oops. <laughs> okay, they're in the cornfield. They're just taking their sweet time. It's all they can do. They have to now. They could go bum rushing, but that's a guaranteed way to lose one or two of them or more. Where's our end goal right now? Where are we going? Palace is our objective. Dude, I'm not seeing anything. They've got the Humvee running near them. That could sort of cover up their footsteps, at least the sound of it. It's like they've decided that this door might be the way to go. Through here, we're pushing through. They might be able to get through. Oh, wow. Oh, Jenga saw somebody. That's Razgris again. He is just getting lit up. Everyone is shooting at him. He's a bullet magnet. And somehow he's still alive. He just bandaged himself again. He's healing again. Good thing he's a medic. He'd be having a bat. He would be dead already. I just had eyes on it. No one was in. Who's? So Minaret was in. Jengemester shot a lot of PPSH, so he might be getting low on ammo there. I know he's throwing at least one grenade as well. Uber, how are your comms? They're better. I'll contact with Brennan. Yeah, Alright, looks like they're going to break off into buddy teams. Razgriz and Brennan are going to hold this area. Uh, perhaps be a distraction. Not quite sure what the full plan is. Oh, 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 oh. Down goes to Agalok. Silas is right there. No more leadership at all for the U.S. 
Jenga Master shooting. Lighting up Raz Grizz. Give me Brennan. Jack Reynolds is getting himself healed up. We are down to three U.S. soldiers. And the insurgents are still platoon sized. We're going to flank southwest, okay? We're just going to head straight southwest along the riverside, okay? Okay. Here's what's going to happen. When we head southwest, we're going to go... ...palace on the flank. Oh, shit, he's still alive. Yes, he's... <laughs> Jack Reynolds is going to get shot at. He's going to be careful. Oh, ow, I'm hit. Oh. Looks like Pokesmot just took out Gaby Brennan from his south. Reynolds, and he's going to peek and get Raz Grizz right in the back here. For about, for about 10 seconds from watching this go down. Oh, ho, here he comes. Pop, pop, pop. Down he goes. Raz Grizz is down. We're down to Jack Reynolds. That's it, right here. And he takes out Silas. Is he going to get crispy? Oh, he hit him. He took him. Oh, that's a good game. We're going to see the GGs in chat. Good stand by Jack Reynolds. Good effort. Last one alive. Good game, everybody. We finished that one with 26 to 9. So just a flat out beatdown by the insurgents. Look at that. Just deaths across the board. Any standout players? Kahuna. Kahuna with that freaking Raider kit. Tearing it up. Six kills. Good job by him. And that's good. That's about it. Just good, good all around defense by the insurgents. That is how you want it done. Hutch is Hutch is going to be saving that replay. He just he commanded the hell out of those guys, and they were patient. They were patient. And they did. We're gonna. Penn's gonna show you guys a couple good replays here. Uh, some of the good action that we saw. Mostly going to be U.S. soldiers dying. But you know what? Maybe they can learn. The insurgents will, will definitely learn. You know, they'll Hutch will take his guys. He'll have a plan already. But the U.S. knows exactly what killed them. They threw all those smokes, and they never utilized them. Uh, uh, they, were, they were afraid to push is almost what it came down to. Either way, good job by Dr. Kamikaze. He had a sound plan, but the insurgents were ready. They really were ready. They were sitting there waiting. and. But you never know. They, they, I bet everybody learned something when they saw that Humvee push across and actually succeed. It got across. It got some guys across. Their, their problem was they didn't get too spread out afterwards. And a couple of grenades later, they were done. And we've already rolled the map. What happened here is they switched sides. So I'm going to switch teams. We'll wait for a command to make his. There it is. Now I can make my commentary. Silas, your squad's going to control the Humvee. Copy. Copy. And you know what? We're going to take just a quick break. Yeah, we'll show you guys the SOTT trailers. And I don't know if there's any more instant replays Penn's got. He'll show you that too. We'll be right back. Uh, during the brief, we'll see if we can get in there and hear Hutch briefing his guys as this goes. And uh, we'll see you guys in a few. This is Squad Ops, Operation Foxheart. <laughs> 